Remember the rocks from yesterday, guys. So this is it. And this one. And this is my whole rock collection. This one specifically is my favorite. And this in the back is when I played goalkeeper. I love being goalkeeper. The leg broke off though. I guess when they tell you break a leg. Usually I take the bus to work, but my dad's taking me today, so. So my dad just dropped me off and we just had a talk real quick about the stuff, some business stuff. He's a businessman himself. I guess he's the reason I'm really into business and stuff. But I'm here downtown, as you can see. This is where I work. I'm just gonna sit down real quick. Just putting my food away real quick. You may be wondering why I have this big ol'. It has nothing in it. It was when I worked at First Bank. I'll tell you more about it later. But, I carry it as a weapon. As you can see, it's light, it's heavy, and it could really do some damage. I have about seven minutes, so I'm just gonna eat my burrito real quick. Cool. Just got done with my stuff. Usually I just take that all the way up, but I really don't see no need, especially since I can walk and stuff. This is where I work, express men. Usually I'm late, but I'm right on time this time. So I guess I'll call real quick. Looks like no one is there, so I'll just talk real quick. The way I got this job, I was at the Express at this other location at the mall, Colorado Mills. But this hell happened, and it broke down, and I got transferred over here. I stayed here till it was remodeled, but I liked the crew so much, my co-workers, that... Oh. Anyways, I like my co-workers so much that I decided to stay, so I'm here. Which is really funny because I never really liked downtown. The first time ever, well, that I ever came to downtown was to work and I was like a lost puppy. Here, let's check this out, Leonardo da Vinci. Look at that. Whoa, the Mona Lisa. They say that supposedly one side is like narrower than the other. So that side is more, I don't know, different than that one. And they say that she stares at you wherever you go. I'm a Leonardo fan just because he was a mathematician, uh, he was a physicist, engineer, he was so much, he was a painter, uh, anatom, Murray. I don't know, he was into anatomy and all that. And in some way, he figured out a way to combine all those things into like art, inventions, and all that. And if you follow me a lot, you will be, uh, I guess, you will be hearing me talk about motivation, inspiration, and all that just because I'm into all that. Here comes one of my coworkers. What's up, Dominique? Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, you're, you have ink on your hands. Oh, I know. You're supposed to just, what's up? Oh. There you go. There you go. We're just waiting. My guess is it's Carmen. Check out these plants. So funny when I get in a rush to come here. <laughs> well, time to get to work. I'm not gonna do a lot of videos while working, but usually what I do, this is my thing, and I look for items. Yeah, and then I package them and then I ship them. And usually, this is how I carry my thing. 
so it doesn't fall. Check it out. Pretty cool, right? I made it up myself. I hope to make something like this for phones someday. Well, looks like the process is going pretty well. So yeah. I'm not always allowed to record on the job, but I try without getting caught. I always struggle with this. Sometimes I don't finish and they have to finish for me or I have to stay here till I finish. It's a struggle, but I get more hours, but it's still a struggle just because I don't know the whole store. At least not the women's side, not so well anyways. Just got done with the rest of packaging. As you can see, there was like 15 items, 15 orders, and there was like four I couldn't find, and Leslie, my manager, helped me. So that's pretty good. <laughs> All right, so finally done with work. Now, move on to next step. And that is, I don't know, we'll see. I'm gonna go pick up some stuff. I'm heading to my friend Kyle's house. So we'll see how it goes. He's a big Star Wars fan. And trippy fan. This is the new Schweinstein castle. Hopefully plan to get married there. Check out that ball guys. I remember being goalkeeper and getting hit in the face so much. Nose, cheek. Sometimes I'd get my air knocked out and the game still be going. Sometimes I get hit in the face. And I see stars, and I don't even know what's going on, and the game's still going. Yeah, sucks, but hey. It's Day four on the heart. And the ink still hasn't really came out. Usually I walk home, but he's offering a ride. Yay! Yeah. I'll see you later, man. For sure. I'll try. I just came back from my neighbor Dennis. I ran into him while in the hallway. We just chilled, ate some food and stuff. I'm about to go work on my business and stuff. So real quick, I'm just gonna give a, a quick description about me. So basically, I like inspiration and motivation and I plan to inspire and motivate people to achieve their dreams. I like success and what I mean by that is setting goals and achieving them. I'm big on that just because when you achieve them, it feels good. And I believe people should set goals. You can't just live this life and not have goals. If not, if you don't, it's called winging it, which is just, you know, floating by and not having any destination. It's having like, it's like having uh, someone that drives an airplane but not having a destination. So I'm big on setting goals. And basically, I want to become a billionaire and stuff, and motivational speaker, and I want to do all that. And I'm vlogging because I'm in, I'm gonna show you the process and how it's possible. Of course, not everyone's gonna be able to see it, but for those of you that can and follow, you'll be able to see how it is possible and how I do it. Not exactly, but 
in some sort of way that you'll see. And like I said, I'm just gonna give a quick description. That's what I want to do. I'm Giovanni Pena, and I live in Denver. I I love it here, and I plan to either move to New York or California and open my own fashion business, my own fashion store anyways. At first, I'm thinking of opening a fashion online business, and then from there seeing how it goes, and then eventually opening a store. So yeah, that's my plan, eventually I'm getting a reputation, that way people know about it. And I believe in living life to the max. Because if you don't, what's the point, you know? As you can see, my days aren't always exactly exciting. Yesterday was pretty exciting. But today, you know, it's work. I just pick up some stuff from my friends, hanged out with my neighbor. And now I'm going to get to work on my business. And it's already like 6 o'clock, 6.30, almost 7, and then almost 10, which I usually like to go to sleep. Because I'd like to wake up around 5 and stuff. So, yeah. I just did a quick video on Instagram. Basically about Casey Neistat and the dude he brought. Um, that got bitten off by a shark. He had a shark attack. He had his right arm and right leg bitten off. And basically said that it was the best thing that ever happened to him. And I believe... Well, I thought that was pretty cool. Just because I believe that things don't happen to you. They happen for you. And he said that it was the best thing that ever happened to him. And it's pretty cool because he said the two things that were that he feared the most were sharks and talking in front of crowds. And now he does shark documentaries. He talks in front of them. Well, he talks in them and all that. And now he talks in front of people as a public speaker. So how cool is that, you know? Something that he was scared to do now benefits him. This video, it's basically for Instagram. Like I said, I'm into inspiration and motivation. And sometimes I will be talking about it. But basically on my, vlog, on my vlogs, I will be just going on with my day. But whenever I do want to mention something, I will. And just because I think it's important in some way. I believe we can all learn something from our day. And just learn something from other people. And I believe if I could share that, the better, right? More information for other people that could benefit them. And I believe the more knowledge someone knows the easier life becomes so it doesn't hurt to benefit and help someone right anyways i'm about to go work on my business i just thought i'd tell you quick about myself this wasn't here before really nice garage and everything but they had trees and stuff but anyways yeah as you can see i don't live in a big place Scary, right? As I said, gonna work while I can. In case you're wondering some of the things I've done exactly there's more but you get a good idea so that's enough for today time to end it end of the day mostly As you can see, my days aren't always that exciting. You get a good glimpse of what I usually do on a daily basis. And like I said, I wanna be a billionaire. I wanna be a fashion designer, a fashion entrepreneur, a public speaker, and a YouTuber. I love all of that. And if I could be all that and show you, like, I guess my journey while doing it, how better, well, how better can it get, you know? So thanks for watching my second vlog and I'll see you on my third one. Have a good one, guys.